I'm in the daytime kitchen with Stuart Trinko from the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Southwest Virginia, and we are cooking up something that smells delicious. What are you making? It's, it's called Santa Fe Chicken Stew. Um, it's one of my favorite go-to recipes. It's healthy. You can make it ahead of time. I usually double or triple it. It travels well. It'd be great for tailgates. Can you freeze it too? Absolutely. I've frozen it many times before, I so it's a love great one. That. It really is. So walk so, me through the ingredients that so you have basic, right here. It's it's the hardest part really is baking chicken and shredding it and opening cans. Okay. Um, you saute a bunch of green onions, which I've gotten a head start on, in olive oil. Two teaspoons of olive oil. It is a can of stewed tomatoes, a can of chicken broth, a small can of green chilies. Um, uh, kidney beans, mm -hmm. and a lot of times if I'm doubling or tripling, I'll use some light, some dark, okay. and that's actually a larger can than I should have gotten, so about, about half a can of corn. Okay. So it's got lots of fiber, it's got lean protein, um, and basically once you start, yeah, you just start pouring, which I just spilled everywhere, but... That's all right. That's, that's then okay. that makes it more realistic exactly, to my kitchen. Exactly, exactly, yeah. If it's not a mess, then it's probably not me cooking. And I did drain and rinse the beans ahead of time. So I did get a head start on that. Okay, but is this just a one pot oh, yeah. dish? Oh yeah, oh <gasps> yeah. This is probably gonna be pretty full because I usually use a little bit larger pot. Yeah. But um, you can also, the, the nice thing about this is you can substitute different things. So a lot of times I will use some stewed tomatoes and some diced tomatoes, but you have to break up the, the stewed tomatoes a little bit. Okay. Um, the other thing is, let me put the chicken in here. Yeah. Um, While you're doing this, will you also talk about the golf tournament that's coming up? It is. Golly day. Um, the, the, the weather has worked against us a little bit. We'd uh -huh. scheduled the day that Michael arrived. Oh, uh, yeah. Had to postpone it a week. And unfortunately, the Pete Dye River course had some damage to uh -huh. the course near the New River. So we have postponed it again to the Thursday the 8th of November. Okay. So we've got one flight in the afternoon um, starting, um, lunch starts at 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to fill the flight. Um, we will also start selling our Christmas cards in the next week or so, which we do every year as a fundraiser. Cool. And I so mean, we the have Ronald a, McDonald House Charity, they do so much for families in the area. What people don't realize is, yeah, we, I mean, so many people don't realize that this is a worldwide charity. There are 366 Ronald McDonald houses all over the world. Wow. There are 182 in, in this country. So many people go past it every day not realizing yeah. that we have 18 bedrooms. Many You have to live 25 miles away to stay in the house, mm -hmm. but we also have the family room, which is right outside the NICU yeah. at, at Curly and Rono Memorial. So it's sort of a place to, to get away, to regroup, and you're still close yeah, to so your Yeah, so people are driving bedside. by, you know, it looks like a house. Maybe not realizing that yeah. there oh, yeah. are 18 families who are going through something. Something. And real. one of the beauties yeah. of that, and we have wonderful thank you notes, and that are so moving. And yeah. so often they'll say, it is so wonderful being around people who understand what I'm going through. They're going through yeah. the same thing. So new friendships right. form. Um, it just, I, mean, I think one of the most touching notes was a young woman. Yeah. And yeah, her, her husband was, was home working and she said, it was so wonderful coming in and they remembered my name. And that just made me weep yeah. thinking, you know, that is to be that alone yeah. or something like that. So, so if so, somebody wants to help you all out, what is the website where people can go and find The website oh. is um, rmhc-swva.org. Or you can just Go Google it and it'll come it. up. Yeah, it helps Lots them of volunteer out. opportunities. Um, yeah. We're always raising funds. And let me say one last thing. It does call for cilantro, which you put in okay. at the very end. Cilantro is one of those funny things. You either love it or hate it. Mm -hmm. And so what I normally do is I will have cilantro and parsley okay. that when people are serving it themselves, they can... Okay. Put whatever they so would prefer on there. We will have this recipe on our website. Go to daytimebluerich.com and seriously go by their website. They do so it's much for wonderful. the community. Stuart, Dude. thank you. This was thank great. Thank you so much.